Hey everybody, welcome, welcome to another episode of Dragon Speed Shop. Um, previous video, um, I showed you guys all how to actually start making the frame, um, what I used, everything like that. Um, today's episode, we are going to actually start fabricating the rear suspension um, on this. Um, I'm using kind of a pro touring suspension underneath this, so that's what I'm going to build. I'll show you the steps and the process that uh, I used to make this suspension. So the first thing I did is I redrew that little drawing that we had. Um, the red line on the outside represents the actual frame of the Mustang, um, this frame here. The red line that runs across here is the width of the body and also this wheel well where it ends. Um, blue line here represents the center axle line so we can keep the axle in line everything like that um, so what we can do is we can take our frame get it lined up right where we need it to be um, like I said I'm doing a pro style pro touring style suspension so this will be a three link suspension um, with coilovers sway bar everything like that so the parts that I'm going to be using um, probably are the Mustang, the 2013 Mustang from Ravel, and then also the, wherever I put it, the full rear end. Um, so if we put this here, you can kind of take a look on what we're going to be actual building here. Um, grab my frame spacer this is my ride height the height of it that I actually want it to sit so there we go so now you can kind of see I have some clearance between the axle and the frame and also this control arm um, first thing we're actually gonna have to do is cut this center bar out so we have clearance for um, the center link to actually sit and in real life can move up and down um, so let's get that cut out as I just slam the camera sorry guys real simple just grab your exacto knife and uh, we'll just snip it right out of here alrighty so easy enough that center bar is gone so now you can get the frame here it's pretty level on where I want it um, save that piece that you cut out because I'm actually going to attach this right there so that is going to be the mount on which this bar connects to so we will make sure that we are centered up on that grab our little squares make sure we're square against that and while I will get this glued in and we'll start working on some of the other components for this rear end all right guys so I'm back got that part glued in and uh, kind of resituated as you saw just to keep everything a little bit nicer for me um, so what I'm going to be using is the actual factory suspension for the 2013 Mustang um, so that means everything in this picture um, these control arms the shocks everything like that um, did a kind of a little test fitting here um, as you can see <clears throat> excuse me I've got one of those control arms in already um, so it looks like we're gonna have to make a little bracket here drill a little hole for that to sit in um, then that will center our axle um, every time exactly where we need to do it um, we can do one side of this um, replicate it on the other side and we'll know that they're exactly the same because of our square frame that we have everything like that so that's gonna be pretty easy so let's make that um, 
what I'm thinking, what we'll use is, should have grabbed this. Is we'll use some small I-beam that will uh, we'll run this way just a little bracketry that will uh, go just like that so pretty simple pretty easy um, just right off of that um, make it even look a little bit cooler I guess we could run it this way so we have kind of a bracket running down the frame and I actually kind of like that look a little bit better um, we can kind of snug it right next to the frame rails run them both down the uh, side so I will uh, get both of those made um, pretty self-explanatory mark your length that you need cut it and glue it on um, and then I will uh, be right back all right guys welcome back <clears throat> so I got those in um, little braces you can see it fits just perfectly underneath that uh, little bracket that I glued on there um, you can see here I am holding the uh, rear shock in place um, <clears throat> made a little mark here on top of the frame and then we are going to have to uh, make a another bracket that is going to hold uh, the shock but also I'm going to put a cross brace um, in here across here to hold uh, the sway bar and uh, anything else that I feel like mounting there um, but pretty easy I think we'll cut down the shock just a little bit to make it uh, fit kind of flush against that frame um, but yeah I'm gonna get all this done get it all completely mocked up and uh, show you guys uh, what this rear suspension is actually gonna look like so I'll see you back in a little bit. 